In this video, let's talk about some basic concepts, including CPU, application, thread, and thread scheduler, so that we can have a basic solid foundation in order to understand multi-threading and asynchronous programming and be able to create multi-threading programs and or asynchronous programs. So for any modern computer, we will have to have a CPU, which is the central control unit that process all the applications. Without the CPU, none of the application will be able to run so the computer wouldn't exist. So let's find a icon of CPU. Okay, so we have a CPU here. For the developer or any user, one of the most important things is the application. That's the whole purpose of having a computer. So let's imagine this rectangle represents a application. And when you have the CPU and then have the application loaded into the memory of the computer, then when the application wants to run, the application have to be processed by the CPU. However, the CPU can only process a thread. So the thread is the basic unit that can run within a CPU, not the application. So therefore, one application has at least one thread. It's impossible that application doesn't have a thread. Without a thread, application wouldn't even exist, it wouldn't perform its task. So let's use a circle to represent a thread within the application. And let's imagine there's only one thread in an application. That's the normal application. Normal application only have one thread, which usually we call the main thread or we call it a primary thread. All right, so we have application and we have this main thread. And when the application is loaded into the memory of the computer and wants to run, then the thread has to be assigned to the CPU and the CPU will process the application. So who is responsible for assigning the thread to the application? And that's something we call the thread scheduler. Now let's use another rectangle to represent the thread scheduler and I'm gonna just call it thread scheduler here. The thread scheduler is this middle person that look at the available applications and then assign this thread in the CPU so that CPU can take care of the thread. Remember the key concept here. To the CPU, application doesn't exist. To the CPU, only thread exists. Thread is the basic unit that a CPU can process. So the thread scheduler here is responsible to assign a thread to the CPU. Now, it's possible that we have multiple applications. In fact, that's most of the case. You have multiple applications running within the computer. So when that is the case, we use multiple rectangles to represent the scenario. Rectangle represents application. And remember that we have to have a thread inside the application in order for the application to run. So when that's the case, the thread scheduler will have to decide which one of the thread can be assigned to the CPU to run. Not all of the thread can be assigned to the CPU at the same time. Imagine there's only a single core CPU. So at any given moment, there's only one thread can be allocated to the CPU for the CPU to process. The scheduler's responsibility is to determine who needs to be assigned to the CPU. The scheduler make the decision based on many different factors. For example, some of the applications is more mission critical than other applications. So therefore their thread has higher priorities. And another factor could be that, let's say this is a high priority thread, therefore it is assigned to the CPU, but it's been using the CPU for a long time and the other threads are being starved. So in that case, thread scheduler will have to remove this thread from the CPU and start giving other threads some opportunities to be processed in the CPU. So the task scheduler essentially is assigning the thread in this case based on time slicing, which means that each thread has a period of time, which we call time slice. And during that period of time, the thread will be assigned to the CPU in order to run. So this is the basic algorithms that a thread scheduler uses in order to press, process different threads within different applications. Now, 
The thread scheduler is not something that a developer is able to influence other than assigning some priorities to your own thread. The thread scheduler is a part of the operating system. It's out of our developer control. So you have to be aware of that. Now we have multiple applications and we have one thread in each application. This is not multi-threading scenario. This is a multiple application scenario. When we talk about multi-threading scenario, we're referring to that the possibility of having multiple threads within one application. Let's say the first application utilizes three different threads. Therefore, we call the first application is a multi-threading program or multi-threading application. But to the scheduler, there's total five different threads. So one, two, three, four, five, five different threads in the entire operating system, it doesn't really matter whether the threads belong to this application or not to the thread scheduler. The only thing it sees are the different threads. So whether there's only one thread or there's a thousand thread, whether those a thousand threads belong to one application or belong to many different applications, it doesn't really matter. Thread scheduler is just doing its work based on its own algorithms and assign those threads to the CPU to be processed. So each one of those threads will have its turn to go onto the CPU. And of course, you will have scenarios where you have multiple cores of CPU, not just single core. Then here we can use different icons of the CPU to represent the different cores. And it's exactly the same thing that Stress Scheduler, which is part of the operating system, will be dealing with assigning different threads two different cores of the CPU, but it's only that this time the thread scheduler will be able to assign one thread per core. But as for how it is done, it is entirely up to the thread scheduler and we don't need to worry about that. We just need to know that there is the thread scheduler taking care of the threads within our applications. And when there are multiple threads within one application, we're going to call this a multi-threading scenario. For this application, this is a multi-threading program, whereas this is just a regular single threading application. This one is also a regular single thread application. Okay, those are the main basic concepts we need to know before we start programming multi-threading programs. If any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next video.